The Pope believes we should either burn him or make him Bishop of Kingsbridge. I have already taken matters into my own hands. My men arrested him while Kingsbridge was left unguarded. While his friends took Earl's Castle? Yes. At least in his death, William Hamley was of use to you. <laughs> Look at all these people. It seems like they're enjoying themselves. They never change. You drooling dogs should be ashamed! Shut up, you old hag! Ellen? I, I'm not feeling well. I'll take care of you. You two go ahead. Hurry up! Is... is your mother ill? It's... it's not that. This is... this is where they hanged my father. The trial begins. The judges, brother of Stephen, king of the English, the right reverend Bishop Henry of Winchester, Her Highness, the Countess Lady Aliena of Shiring, presiding over the trial, the right reverend Bishop of Shiring and Kingsbridge, Waleron by God. Please. The church is not without fault. We have gathered here today before the eyes of God to accuse one of our own. He wrote in his book that the church and the papacy are not necessary as intercessors between God and man that God is in man, that all men are equal, and that each sinner is as close to our Lord as the Pope himself. Now we ask God for his judgment, for his is the kingdom, the power and the glory. Not ours, and not yours. You stand accused of heresy. Philip of Gwyneth, how do you plead? Answer! I am not guilty. Innocent. <laughs> Your teachings speak another language. Guilty, I say. I am deeply saddened. It may come as a surprise to you, but we had hoped to make you Bishop of Kingsbridge. Why has it come to this, Philip? In part, I am to blame. I supported Philip in his early years. I demand that Philip be removed from his position of prior immediately. No! And that he remain in captivity until such time that Shiring and all of England have healed from the poisonous words he has dispersed. No! What? Yes? In what way exactly are Philip's teachings heretical? <laughs> Philip of Gwyneth has said that each of us is in part of a godly nature, for God has made us in his image. Therefore, he claims that none of us, not he, not the bishops, not even the Pope, is closer to God than any other man or woman. Heresy! 
Christ made his apostle Peter his first pope. He and us, his church, hold the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Yes. The Bible also tells us, let a man be known by his actions. Philip made Kingsbridge into a prosperous place for its people and for the church you claim he disrespects. That is true, Lady Aliena. Yes. Let a man be known by his actions. Call in Remedius. The prior of Shiring. Father Remedius. My bishop. Tell the court, Remedius, what you have told me. For many years, I served as sub-prior of Kingsbridge. First for Prior James, then for the accused. What was your first impression of him? I was impressed initially by how he handled the discussions in the chapter house. What else? Prior Philip did not hesitate to give refuge to the people fleeing Earl's castle in the winter that our king died. Is that not a good deed? A true Christian act? You do not know him as well as you think you do, Lady Aliena. Today, that will change. Then, on the day of our first fleece fair, we were attacked. I heard. It was terrible. I tried to soothe the woman's pain by reading the scripture to her. Our master builder's wife tried to put a spell on her with poisonous herbs. And Philip intervened. Yes. He pushed me aside and gave the woman poison. He should have. It is worse than I thought. It was no poison. And then there was the day the Virgin Mary's statue arrived in Kingsbridge. I did not believe it was a miracle. Clearly it is a miracle. I hear of many who were healed in Kingsbridge. Yes! Amen! Amen. Oh, Mary, bless us all! Well, I soon realized it was a true miracle, but Philip did not. He was only after the money people donated at the Virgin Shrine. That is why I left. He had to! Amen! I believe there is one more thing you have not told us about. Something very important. Yes. Philip has fathered a child. Unbelievable. I knew it. A son. And he raised him in the priory. He is guilty. <sighs> Jonathan of Kingsbridge, step forward. This is preposterous. Is it? Is this true? Are you Philip's son? Answer the question, Jonathan of Kingsbridge. I have no father. Everyone has a father. That may be, but if Philip was my father, he would have told me. How do you know he did not lie to you? Speak. Philip would never lie. He told me that I was found in the woods. In the woods? Is this true, Philip? Or are you lying? Well... My brother found him. Your brother? The brother whose master you betrayed? What are you talking about? 
Philip tried to involve me in a conspiracy against his brother's master, Earl Robert of Gloucester. And his ally, Earl Bartholomew, your father, Lady Aliena. Philip took in all those refugees years ago because he was to blame for their fate. As he was for yours when you lost your father and your earldom. That, Lady Aliena, is the man you are trying to protect. Well? I know that he is a troubled man. We've all had to make hard decisions, decisions that seemed right at the time, when indeed they were terrible mistakes. I am thankful that I was forgiven when I made a mistake. Now I forgive him. <laughs> Let us now return to the problem at hand. There is a man who witnessed how Jonathan was found in the forest. A man who can shed light on who Jonathan's father really is. And who is that? My husband. Step forward. What is your name? He is the master builder of Kingsbridge. Have you lost your courage? No, I have not. You know well why it would be hard for me to face you. They call me Jack, after my father. My name is Jack Jackson. Yes, we have met before. How old were you when you allegedly saw Jonathan as a child in the woods? Twelve. But I know what I saw. Philip told the truth. Tch, you were a child. And what were you doing there, in the woods? I was living in the forest, with my mother. They were outlaws. Prior Remigius is the most trustworthy witness we've seen today, and his statement was quite damning to Philip. The distant memories of an outlaw child cannot convince me otherwise. The father, the child! Let no! him go! He would never do that! And yet, Lady Aliena is right. We do not know enough to judge him as harshly as you proposed, Bishop Waleron. You are right, Bishop Henry. As I said, it is not up to us to judge this man. Philip of Gwyneth has pleaded innocent, but... How innocent is he? We ask God for his judgment. As Bishop of Kingsbridge and Shiring, I demand an ordeal by fire. This is madness! Philip of Gwyneth will be tried and judged at the stake. If he is innocent, God will save him from the flames. If he is not, then he will burn as the heretic and sinner God has declared him to be. No! Wailer and by God! Not this time! I saw the child and Francis. I was there. Philip is not the child's father. He is a fool, but he is a good man. Then who is the father? It is me. They are all in this together. This woman is a witch and an outlaw, living in sin with a thief. He was hanged in Shiring 30 years ago. He was not a thief. He was a good man. 
You've murdered him, Waleran by God. What is this nonsense? He was a thief. He stole a golden chalice and melted it down and sold it. What chalice? The chalice of the Eucharist. He stole it from the Cathedral of Kingsbridge. Sacrilege. Yes, Prior James of Kingsbridge caught him red-handed. Is that the chalice? You said it was melted down and sold. Fall not for their lies. That could be any chalice. This does not prove a thing. Where did you find this chalice? In a secret chamber. We believe Prior James hid it because he felt guilty for falsely accusing Jack's father. What proof do you have? He told me. The night the cathedral burned down, I was there, I saw him. Prior James died weeks before that. No, he did not. Bishop Henry, he speaks the truth. Order! I will give you until sunset to produce a witness who can prove your accusations against Bishop Waleran. Not just this chalice. If you fail to do this, I will make sure you are tried for defamation. Philip of Gwyneth, you will stay under arrest. The trial recommences at sunset. We need a witness. What are you doing there? I've seen you draw up plans for a cathedral. Maybe we can do something similar to find our witness. Let's see. Your father. He looks just like you. My grandmother said he did. And Bishop Waleran. What are the connections? Maybe, by exploring them, we can find a witness. Good idea. Bishop Whaler and is at the center of all this. Mother says Whaler and was behind my father's death. And she said he wasn't alone. There were three men responsible for your father's death. Bishop Whaler and Percy Hamley. Back then he was the sheriff of Shiring. And Prior James of Kingsbridge. If they were all there, then they were all witnesses. And only Waleran still alive. Hardly a coincidence. Why would these three men work together to falsely accuse your father? Hmm. He was on the white ship. No one survived that night. No one lived to tell the story. Yes. He was the sole survivor. And then they killed him. But why? William Hamley's father? Why would Whaler and Percy and James be concerned about the white ship? The son and heir of King Henry was on board. So were other possible heirs and other members of the royal household. I heard that Stephen was supposed to be on the ship as well, but became ill. He was the only male heir. The only threats were the king's daughter Maud and her half-brother Earl Robert. And they've been at war ever since. And your father, Earl Bartholomew. He was a threat. He tried to stop Stephen and paid for that with his life. Maybe my father saw something on the white ship. Proof that Stephen was involved. Hmm. What about the king? Stephen always claimed that it had been God's will that he was not on that ship. That he remained as the only male heir. 
That wasn't God. I bet Stephen had a hand in the sinking of the ship. Now imagine what would have happened if he had learned that someone survived. Someone who might have seen what really happened that night. If Stephen was responsible for the sinking of the white ship, then he may have wanted the only witness of what really happened to disappear. But he wouldn't have done it himself, of course. No. If the white ship is involved, then it's likely that Waylaren was told by King Stephen to murder your father. But he was not king back then. Why would Waylaren listen to him? He was promised to become bishop. Of course. Remember, Bishop Henry is Stephen's brother, and back then he was already one of the most influential clerics in all of England. But if Bishop Henry is in on all this, what chance do we have to turn this trial around? It is a public trial. All we want is for Philip to go free. We find a witness to expose Waylaren. Henry would have to play along to appear innocent. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's our best shot. Do you think the King told James to arrest my father? Uh, no. I find it much more likely that James was instructed to frame your father by Waylaren, his superior. As Archdeacon, Waylaren was much more involved in politics than James would have been. So, what about prior James and Waylaren? Waylaren was not yet bishop when the hanging took place. He was Archdeacon. Philip told me. But James still had to do what Waylaren told him to? I think that's very likely. Percy Hamley was poisoned. One less witness it knew about Waylaren. And Waylaren probably wanted William to become Earl. He was easier to control than his father. What about Regan Hamley? She survived. She was taken to her townhouse in Winchester. And in her condition, she might not be able to help at all. Ah, uh, how are Pride James and Percy Hamley connected? Not at all, I would guess. Except through Bishop Waylaren. Yes. He needed James to arrest my father and Percy Hamley to hang him. Now both of them are dead. That can't be a coincidence. Percy Hamley was the sheriff of Shiring. Well, he could have ordered your father to be hanged. But he was arrested and held in Kingsbridge first. Prior James claimed that my father had committed theft. Now, what about Prior James? James was the Prior of Kingsbridge. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it, Philip recognized the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. but it's an important lead for us. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. That secret chamber is important. Everyone thought Prior James was dead, that he broke into the ice, and now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? 
Sub-Prior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. But how is Remigius involved? Philip told me that Remigius was there when Waylorin made Philip prior. Waylorin and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylorin later made Remigius prior of Shiring. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. He must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylorin told Remigius to make prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, Remigius hid him away. But Waylorin never knew. Yes, that explains why he really didn't believe you. When you said you had seen James in the fire. Where James died after all. And Remigius thought no one knew. We have to find Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. The trial will continue soon. People know you two. You shouldn't walk around shiring like that. Ah. <sighs> He's right. I'll go look for him. Hmm. All right. Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom. All right. Remigius, now where are you?